His experiment is to determine which side of the leaf produces the most oxygen or which side of the leaf has the most stomata. So today we're going to use leaves of the same size or relatively the same size. We're going to use some weights, Vaseline, water and large beakers. So the leaves will be treated in terms of no leaf will be here in this beaker, untreated leaf, the top will be covered and the bottom will be covered and so we'll determine which side of the leaf will produce the greatest amount of gas and that will indicate which side of the leaf has the greatest number of stomata. Considerations for accuracy. Use the same type of leaves and also of the same maturity. Use leaves from the same tree. Also ensure that leaves are relatively the same size. Use the same amount of Vaseline and also the same volume of water. Keep the leaves in the same area, especially in a well-lit area to allow photosynthesis. Alright, so let's put some Vaseline on one, the top, so I'll cover this top with Vaseline. That's one leaf being applied, Vaseline there. This leaf, we put Vaseline on the bottom. And make sure you fully cover the bottom of it. Alright, so to prevent any floating of the leaves, we're going to put the leaves in the beaker and then secure it with a weight. Alright, let's put this on the bottom. Secure this with our weight as well. So now the leaves are being secured with weights to the bottom of the beaker to prevent floating. So now we're going to pour equal amount of water in the beakers. So let's bring it up to almost 400. This one as well. Bring it up. It's going to take a time to make sure that there's no spillage. Okay, so we leave this now undisturbed for, well, let's say 30 minutes to about an hour, and then we come back and check the results. We can see bubbles forming at the base of this leaf. All right, so this is another leaf, again, with bubbles forming, a number of bubbles are forming in the leaf as we progress. And most of the bubbles, if you notice, they are under the underside of the leaf. So we'll be flipping the leaf to see the relative amount of bubbles in the water in each beaker. Right, so this is after some time. This is the leaf with no Vaseline, so this was untreated. Just want to observe and see what's happening with this leaf. So we're going to look at it. So most of the bubbles are at the bottom of the leaf, if you have noticed that. 
this was the leaf with the top being covered and just to point out you could notice at the bottom of the leaf you could see some bubbles there okay so we have some bubbles just nice so remove the weights to get a clearer view of what is happening so let's turn this leaf over this was the leaf at the bottom so we have some bubbles there forming all right so quite a number of bubbles it was awesome And then this is the leaf that was covered to the bottom. Take the weights out. Alright, and you know there's a few bubbles. There's a few bubbles. You actually see a few bubbles on this. So turn it over, you can see the bubbles there. Alright, awesome. If you notice under the leaf, you'll see a lot of bubbles under this beaker. Now this leaf, you'll see only a few bubbles there. That's the top of the leaf. So if you notice the bottom of the leaf compared to the top, so this leaf, the bottom, has a great amount of bubbles compared to the top of the leaf. So let's zoom into that a little bit. Okay, so you notice you see the bubbles there. Awesome. It's a great. And this, let's look at the top of this leaf, the top of the leaf compared to the bottom. Let's get some zoom into that. So notice the top versus the bottom. You can see the few bubbles there underneath from the top of the leaf. So that's the top of the leaf, few bubbles compared to the bottom of the leaf. So this is the bottom of the leaf. And in that zoom, you can see a lot of bubbles. Up. Great more bubbles on the bottom of the leaf compared to the top of the leaf and this was the untreated leaf you notice you see here some really big bubbles wow all right so that's the bottom section let's try to look at the top section so this is the top section of the leaf that was untreated versus the bottom. So we can make our conclusion based on this leaf, which side of the leaf has the most stomata, based on the number of bubbles or relatively amount of bubbles that are formed. 